Hello Aries and welcome to the new year of 2022. I'm Josie K of Josie K Tarot and we're going to look into the energies that will be surrounding you on into and through the rest of this January of 2022. Uh, what I do is I translate this information via the cards and then uh, I ask Spirit for advice, right? Because we all have free will, but Spirit's always going to try to guide you into that higher path of peace, joy, and happiness. So let's see which Aries Spirit is wanting to connect with uh, during this general reading. Uh, before I do so, I'm going to quick switch the camera from pointing towards me over here to my tripod so you can see the reading for January of 2022 before me in just one moment. All right, so here we are, Aries. I'm going to be starting out with the Lenormand deck by Chiro Marsetti, and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. This is a year to redefine oneself, to take all that we've learned in the past one through five years, uh, to learn from the obstacles and challenges of the past, and now to apply them to this beautiful chapter in 2022, right? A number six year is redefining yourself and taking responsibility in the area of relationships, both professionally, in fact, more important professionally at this time, uh, and then personally. I've had many write me and say I haven't met that person yet, but I do feel, and I've been saying this for the past couple of years, that 2022, right? There's three twos there. This is all about coming together and connecting with others, but also redefining yourself, right? If your heart isn't open to love, then love will not be brought to you from the universe. If you want love, that's all about patience and kindness, giving all of yourself to another, supporting and lifting them up. Uh, on into and through the rest of your future together. Don't know why I was guided to say that, but let's go ahead and continue. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Aries I am reading for. Sun, moon, or rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Aries with clearly defined messages regarding the energy that will be surrounding them or is right now in the month of January of 2022. All right, so right off the bat, we've got this real spiritual card here in the form of the anchor. So this is for those who've been searching for stability and abundance. Uh, there are many that are now discovering a path of stability and security. And that's where spirit wants us to start out, right? We're at the beginning of the year. And as long as we're standing on a solid foundation, financially, emotionally, and spiritually, uh, this energy makes a person very strong and uh, brings them clarity about how to move forward, who to move forward with. <clears throat> Pardon me. So in the thoughts position of the circle spread, we've got this child card. Some may be thinking about a child or children. Some may be thinking about uh, a playful connection or a situation tied to one's past. But I'm feeling, with these two cards next to each other, that this playful energy uh, of supporting and giving and helping others uh, coming together with family, friends, and children. This stability is helping you to think and feel more confidently, Aries, about taking care of those around you. So in the relationship sector of the circle spread, we've got this beautiful book energy. So this is spirit saying, look back at the previous chapters of your life in relation to another or others. What is it that you learned about yourself in the most difficult of times? How did you learn about yourself and rise above certain circumstances? And how are you going to now create this next chapter of your life? Okay, uh, I do feel like this is connecting with others and recognizing a new chapter of stability and thinking about, thank goodness, I can take care of those around me because of my stability. Uh, in some cases, you're going to find out that a child, you know, an older child, of course, has found a position of stability and that they're now stepping into a new chapter in their life. Now, Aries, in your creative aspects position, we've got an issue, okay? When the snake shows up, this means that you may be trying to create something in connection to someone who has energies of lies and deceit, right? So we don't want to go into a new chapter by connecting with people that we should have learned about ourselves through. Now, this could also be someone who's creating something, someone who's moving into a path of abundance and stability, but the snake can sometimes represent fear. 
Now I see the seven and eight here, the eight in the form of the snake. So seven to me is spirit's way of saying, we're going to open up a new doorway for you. It's time to set goals and intentions to create the future that you desire to go through a rebirth, right? Uh, the eight is like an infinity symbol. What is it that I kept repeating whereby I needed to learn so that I can create the next best chapter of my life in the year of 22, especially in relation to another or others. Now, in the actions position, you have the mask, okay? So I do feel like this Aries uh, is definitely feeling a bit confused about someone here. And I think Spirit's saying, remember in relation to others, what you learned before. You know, someone here may very badly want to create a family and children or connect with someone tied to their past. But if you are in a, this state of confusion in January, Aries, Spirit's saying, do not take any action. Focus on your stability and security. Build the next chapter of your life and observe whether or not someone here should be trusted, right? If someone is being completely truthful and honest, there shouldn't be a state of confusion. So there's definitely a, a call to observe a situation before taking any action in the month of January. Now, emotionally, yes, I do feel like this Aries is going to be uh, thinking about marriage, commitment, partnership, uh, but be careful, right? We've got maybe a situation involving ch a child or children, and then we have a little bit of fear regarding a commitment because of this confusion. So in the subconscious position, we have the beautiful uh, four-leaf clover energy. So Spirit's really trying to tell you that the path you are headed towards personally, creatively, financially, that is a blessed and, blessed and lucky path. That is the direction whereby Spirit is trying to guide you that is in your highest best good. So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, you've got this beautiful soulmate connection card. Again, Spirit saying your stability and security will make you strong enough to decipher whether or not someone is the right one for you. Or, yeah, is, is this my soul's purpose, right? What are you creating day-to-day? -day? This is about having faith that Spirit's guiding you into the direction of this four-leaf clover energy. And if you're single, doing what, you know, creating a new chapter that redefines you is going to bring you uh, great fulfillment and joy and happiness, right? Because you're feeling stable, secure, and clear. And that bright, beautiful aura will indeed, for some Aries, draw in a soul connection, some a connection that feels right. But again, be careful. Are you fearful of this connection? Are you confused about this connection? Can someone be trusted? So in the inner strengths position, we've got this beautiful scythe, right? So Spirit's giving this Aries the strength to cut away from what they think is a soul connection in order to move into the direction of a path that is lucky and blessed. Because for some of you, it's in a new direction if you're single where you're going to come into commitment, partnership, or contract and be able to cut away very quickly from this state of confusion. So action trumps confusion, right? So in a three-card summary to my left... We have the maze, we have uh, the journeying card, and the wishing well. So let's take a look. In the first couple weeks of January of 2022 for this airy spirit, saying when it comes to the confusion again, right? Being represented by the maze. Which way should I go? Am I making a mistake? Spirit's going to give you the strength of the whip or the broom here to recognize that you're confused about something and to sweep away from who and or what is causing you this energy of confusion. Yes, because Spirit's saying we are trying to guide you, Aries, into the direction of texting, talking, tweeting with a specific person here with the owl card showing up. So this is about trusting in the universe, trusting in prayer, that spirit will guide you to the right person, place, circumstance, situation when the time is right. Not trying to control any form of outcome here in January. Now, uh, we have the beautiful uh, golden compass here. So spirit saying, watch for signs and synchronicities when it comes to traveling or moving into a new direction, for we will uh, be guiding you to obtain some form of wisdom. Yes, and I just saw the fox. Uh, so I saw the house as well, uh, maybe wanting to make a change in the area of home or family, but the fox is kind of like the snake. They are sly cunning and can be very manipulative. 
So by the third week of January, we do have an Aries here who is recognizing uh, which business organization uh, goals and intentions personally that you are wanting to go into the direction of. So I feel like there's this really fast movement all of a sudden. Maybe around the 19th of January, some of you uh, recognize an offer or opportunity of stability that feels right. And so as you're moving forward, yes, you're going to be contemplating some form of communication or paperwork and the devotion of this business, of this creative idea, should I or shouldn't I, and spirit saying absolutely, right? Uh, things, people, places, circumstances are falling away. We talked about this a lot. The universe is dissipating what does not serve us so that you can now open up to a new direction. So it is time for old directions, circumstances, and connections to fall away. Some of you may be a bit anxious regarding a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or regarding money. Yes, and others. There may be someone who's a bit distant here, at a distance here, but there are energies of burden. So Spirit's saying, free your mind and find clarity by grounding yourself, uh, by moving into a direction where you can receive new commitments, partnerships, or contracts even if they're talking about career and finance. Okay, so by the end of January, going into February, we have someone here who's been hoping, wishing, and praying to meet up, connect, negotiate, communicate with someone so they can get to the truth of the matter, right? Uh, so that you can cut away very quickly and swiftly from a situation if it does not serve you. So there's still a little bit of confusion here. Some may be connecting with a Pisces, or they have that in their chart, wanting to move into a new direction, cross this magical golden bridge. But you don't know how to do that when you're sitting in the moon energy. So the message here in January for sure is to have hope that you are uh, creating a new you. And uh, yeah, eventually you are going to cross a bridge into the direction of feeling like the sun, shining like the sun, feeling like a kid again. We have a passionate feminine who's at this window. She's not in the card with someone else, but she's recognizing he or she with an open heart uh, that there is a new path where they can shine, where you can shine. So Spirit's saying, take the risk, right, with the dice energies. Roll the dice and get beyond any obstacles and be careful what you wish for. If the obstacle involves a passionate masculine or that is you, um, yeah. Uh, it's important that you meet up, communicate, and ask certain questions so you can cut away from whether or not a situation is stable and secure. So for this Aries, I'm going to bring in the Rider Waite Tarot deck. I like to confirm and clarify with the Tarot deck because it helps for me to pinpoint certain astrological signs and or elements of who by which this Aries will be connecting with in January. Yeah, so finding stability and security, able to go away from who and or what no longer fulfills you emotionally. So that could be professionally or personally. Trying to make a decision regarding a situation, again, that involves a child or children or a situation that is playful or that is tied to the past. So wanting to go away from a situation emotionally uh, because uh, there are hopes of a playful maybe new beginning with the child card, but there's indecision here. Okay, uh, we do have the two of cups energy. So this is a connection that feels right. And spirits again saying with the book, take time to slow down and research a connection that feels right. Uh, should I stay? Should I walk away uh, from my current circumstances into a new direction? Is this a soul connection that's going to lead me to this path that is lucky and blessed with the four leaf clover energy? So Aries, we have the King of Cups energy. Some of you may be, again, connecting with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or this is you, Aries, opening your heart now in a very balanced way as you observe another. As you contemplate moving on from a path that no longer fulfills you professionally or personally. So in the actions position, yes, be careful. If there is some form of confusion here, Spirit is saying, step forward into the direction of obtaining further information. I'm feeling the ring strongly as some form of contract business opportunity. And if that's what you're focused on here in January, Spirit's saying eventually you're going to come out of that state of confusion and with the Three of Cups energy start to celebrate forward movement, going away from that which no longer serves you or who. All right, so 
emotionally we have the knight of swords energies uh, someone watching you someone maybe wanting to offer you an opportunity in the area of commitment partnership or contract but again this is involving communication getting to the truth of a situation subconsciously we have the knight of cups energies uh, somebody maybe or has by january come towards you with this very playful energy and some of you are hoping of course that this path is lucky and blessed but January is definitely, and I'm feeling this for the collective as well, a time to sit and observe if you're confused, to research a situation and get to the truth so you can walk away and free your mind from confusion. So day to day, oh, beautiful, we got the Three of Pentacles energies. This is coming together and connecting with those regarding money, finance, or career, uh, recognizing a stable and secure connection, opportunity, uh, and facing your fears when it comes to opening yourself up to a business contract, signing paperwork, moving playfully into a new direction, connecting with others in the area of money. Again, I'm feeling like eventually here, maybe by the third week with the number three of cups, uh, there will be celebration and the ability to cut away from who and or what did not serve you here. So in your inner strengths position, spirit stepping in to help you with the major arcana, the hermit. So Aries, this is, I have the strength now to shine my light on different people, places, circumstances, situations, connections, directions, and to wait until I have the clarity I need so that I can cut away from who and or what no longer serves me and into the direction of a reason to celebrate. Now, there may be a little bit of indecision here regarding another and uh, maybe a three-party situation uh, involving a snake here. So if that's your question, uh, that spirit saying, come to Josie K and we'll, we'll get the clarity regarding that. Yes, some are feeling sad, down, depressed, can't sleep at night, fighting a battle, Aries, uh, wanting to manifest a wish come true, a ship coming in. Um, and then I see success. Spirit's trying to give you the strength to go into the direction of what is successful, right? How are you going to redefine your life in the year of 2022, especially in January, and go into the direction of that which is a more successful chapter than you have had in your life before? Yes, so open your heart to new opportunities because I am seeing Spirit offering up this Ace of Wands energies. Again, I'm feeling this is around the third week of January of 2022 for this Aries. So this is about stopping and looking and observing for a period of time, waiting and, and until you are clear about what decision you want. Some are going to receive an offer or opportunity of money, and you're going to be able to free your mind from the Eight of Swords. The swords representing sadness, worry, fear, concerns. Those swords are a figment of your imagination when the Eight of Swords shows up. So this is about going out and connecting with others and bringing your life back into balance, setting goals and meeting goals, and eventually stepping into a position of abundance or greater leadership here. Yeah, so someone here is going to be receiving a lot of attention and recognition, and you're going to be able to lay down something here that's become a weight on your back. Wands representing maybe just the action steps you've been taking or uh, career creativity, finance, I'm feeling even home. Some may be celebrating a new home, a new direction. You're coming together with others, Aries, and you are able to move into the direction of an exciting commitment, partnership, or contract. Yeah, unexpectedly. And now I'm feeling around the 25th of January for some Aries. Uh, communication, action is going to take place really quick, and uh, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. So judgment comes along when you are unsure about an offer here meaning spirit stepping in with that major arcana to help you to recognize a new path whereby your wishes are definitely coming true. So this is beautiful. Two major arcanas, hop, skipping, and jumping into a new direction, maybe a bit conflicted with the five of wands energies about is this indeed going to be my happily ever after and spirit saying yes. Uh, there will be a light at the end of the tunnel where you can create a new life of tradition, family, because of your stability. So say yes when this offer comes. You know, and if some of you aren't getting what you want in a personal relationship, just be careful how you communicate, right? Uh, because spirits say we want to replace energies of heartache with great financial independence and stability. Again, I'm feeling like that is the energy for the collective as well. All right, so I'm going to close by bringing in a final message from 
the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Come on. Pardon me, I have carpal tunnel in both wrists, so I'm just trying to carefully shuffle. Closing message regarding the energy that we have previously discussed in this circle spread for this Aries in the month of January of 2022. Description of energy and or spiritual advice. Ten of action. Okay, so we just talked about a weight on one's back, going the distance, really pushing hard. And spirit saying some of you may be working too hard. The angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and your personal life in the month of January. Be willing to ask for help from others in order to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself. Uh, straining to make others happy could very well be harmful to your health in the month of January. So this is definitely about putting yourself first, right? Focusing on your stability and security. Behind that, we have the guardian of emotion coming in. So this card says, this situation Aries requires emotional maturity and total trust. You will be surrounded by those who have only the best of intentions. So you can rely on the advice that you ha are being given. Challenges will be resolved, okay? And then there will be a time of success. So uh, thank you to those of you who let me know in the comment section how these messages resonate for you. That helps me a lot. And those beautiful emails. Uh, thank you to those of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed. And uh, have come to me for month-to-month -month readings. Thanks to those of you who've been getting yearly readings uh, up until very recently. And uh, thank you as well to those of you who have continued to donate to my channel to keep it up and running. Take care and God bless.